This is the first test for EGR and converter. This is the starting point for an overall emission failure caused by EGR converter problems that may not show up in other areas. If you suspect you have an EGR or converter problem, start at this point and pay particular Both EGR and catalytic converters cause similar emission failures. Lack of power, rough idle, and generally poor engine operation are some of the symptoms. Good place to begin is with scan data. Key on engine off, look at the EGR data bits. Compare the DPFE, the delta pressure feedback EGR flow voltage, to specifications. Our spec is 0.9 to 1.1 volt, key on engine off. And our example, it's 0.9. We're within specs. Idle should show a very small increase in that voltage. In this example, the voltage is high. And it's too high because it's indicating that we have EGR flow at idle. You need to suspect a leaking or a sticking EGR valve. A leaking EGR valve can cause engine misfires. It's a very common problem on Fords. In fact, the only DTC you'll get is for the misfire. You won't get one for the leaking EGR. After testing at idle, a test drive is required, not suggested. It's required. This chart will help us analyze the data. The green is normal for the vehicle speed. Now, this chart is only accurate if you have a good working, normally working DPFE sensor. This is a closed loop feedback EGR system. The PCM commands a duty cycle based on the DPFE voltage. This example has low DPFE voltage with high EVR duty cycle. This is not normal, indicating high EGR vacuum in an attempt to get the EGR flow corrected. T in a vacuum gauge and measure EGR vacuum. A duty cycle of 90% should have a vacuum between 5.6 and 6.9 inches of mercury. If vacuum is low, check the vacuum source and the EVR valve for restrictions or leaking. If vacuum is normal, check for a plugged EGR valve. Now look at these holes. Now we've used a mirror and a camera. Try to get you inside the engine here and look at these EGR passages. They're plugged completely. And this is what we're talking about. Very common on a Ford to cause misfires without EGR codes, but misfire codes. Here we have low EVR duty cycle with normal DPFE voltage. And that's caused by high exhaust back pressure. If scan data indicates EGR is wrong, cleaner replace the EGR and its passages. Don't forget those passages. If the engine has low power and the EGR appears to be working, go to back pressure testing. If the vehicle has an emission failure and the EGR is working normally, go to catalytic converter testing. This is the end of this test sequence. Make a selection from the video menu based on your test results or repeat the last test to identify the best test to do next.